when village people dial your number, the result of it is actually what is happening to Ijele now. What is happening to Ijele is what happens to a man if the gods of the land is angry with you. If you have stepped on too many people's toes, this is exactly the repercussion of what Ijele did is what is fighting back at him now. You have seen a lot of people bringing out evidence on Twitter. So many evidence against him. Contrary to what people have been saying on Facebook, many people have been saying that Ijele was petitioned by people from Zion Ministry. That is not true. Pay attention. Let me tell you what happened to Ijele. Now, before I begin to tell you what happened to Ijele, what Ijele did, I want you guys to take a look at this video first. This is a video of overconfidence Ijele dancing when he received invitation from the police two days ago. When he was thinking that he has the whole world in his hand, this was him dancing. Now, after the dance, Ijele have spent 48 hours now inside police custody. Now I want you to watch and see how Ijele bought a market that is about to kill him now. It will be disclosed that a woman approached him, telling him that she donated 60 million naira for his campaign. And Peter will be replied to the woman, telling the woman that she did not receive any, any of such amount, that she should go back and collect the money from whoever she made the payment to. Now, after Peter will be disclosed this, a young man called Pastor OKZ on Twitter, I think the guy also based in Abia State who is also a supporter of Tinubu, now made a screenshot post with the caption CTIF. So, this is the post you are seeing on the screen now. Accusing this girl called Sarah, Sarah Ibrahim, who is also a P2B supporter on Twitter, that she posted this post on her Twitter account, accusing another P2B supporter of being the middleman that collected the 60 million naira. P2B was talking about. Now, after the P2B supporter Sarah Ibrahim saw the post that Pastor Okezie, who is a full time Tinubu supporter, made about her, she went to her Twitter account and made a post warning Pastor Okezie to delete the criminal and false post he made about her, saying that she never made that post, that it was photoshopped. Now, just like you know, many people are now following the principles of no grief for anybody. Pastor Okeze, no grief, delete the post. Sarah Ibrahim now called police for Pastor Okeze. And this is where Ijele now bought the case that is about to swallow him now. Now, immediately overconfident Ijele heard that Sarah Ibrahim has now involved police on the issue. He bought the case. He quickly counter Sarah Ibrahim. This was the post Ijele speaks posted on his twitter account this is the post on the screen you are seeing so and he said who the heck is this rat the sarah ibrahim he tagged the lady threatening pastor okeze atani over a tweet she deleted you know some wayward ladies in nigeria when they know one or two people in nigeria or sleep with one or two police officers they will begin to see themselves as nothing they are not this is this is jealous speaking of so you are tracking okay get ready when someone start paying attention to you don't run don't run to social media to seek cheap support so you did not tweet this are you telling yourself in good conscience that you did not delete this well approach the court and let technology teach you a better a better lesson this was what ijele said insisting that the lady made the post insisting that she was the one that made that post when the lady already said that she's not the one that made the post now all of a sudden from nowhere petition came against ijele this was how ijele bought a case meant for someone else saying because of overconfidence now as i'm speaking to you right now ijele speaks no longer speak people are waiting for ijele to speak since over two days now nobody don't hear his voice
Now, as this case was heating up, Ijele received petition, which according to him, he said that he did not know the person that petitioned him. He quickly ran to social media to post the petition with confidence that he knows himself, he has connection. This is what overconfidence can cause. Now, look at him now. Someone that has connection, has everything. I have slept under police custody for two days now. Where are those his connection? Now, this was what Ijele wrote when he received the petition. They have invited me to the Zone 7 headquarters of the Nigerian police over a petition purportedly written against me without telling me the unfortunate being behind it. He's calling the person that petitioned him unfortunate being. I am answering them tomorrow. Let me see the moron before deciding my next step <laughs> of confidence. This could be the biggest free speech cause of the decade so far. Threat to life, really? The most threatened Nigerians I'm having a laugh. Guys, I will be updating you guys. Be rest assured. Whoever it is could forfeit sleep for the foreseeable future. We shall see. This was Ijele's reply regarding the petition he received from the Nigerian police. Now, for you to see that when village people want to embarrass you in the market square, they will make you to become deaf and dumb. That you will not even take anybody's advice. Now, someone that cared about Ijele, when Ijele posted about the petition he got from Nigerian police, this lady here advised him to go with his lawyers. But this is Ijele's reply, telling her that he will not bother himself going with any lawyer. You see, overconfidence. This is it. This is it. Now, Ijele being, a, being someone we all know as someone who is always being so too controversial on issues. Is it about how he's wishing Nankano to die in detention? Is it about how he has been fighting against Biafra and IPOB? Now, let's talk about the recent issue of, of Evangelist Ebu Kobe. How he has printed a banner with Evangelist Ebu Kobe picture, calling him a Renji master, calling him all manner of names. And many, many other things. Ijele is, that, Ijele is that kind of person that even when he's supporting your enemy, do not support him. Because he has too many cockroaches in his cupboard. Now, as the issue is going on, a young lady came out on social media accusing the same Ijele of doing human trafficking when he was in Libya, of doing drugs and other illegal businesses. For those of you who have not watched the video, this is the video here. I just want to make a short video before I go out this afternoon. I'm on break before I go back to my work. So the reason why I'm making this uh, live video this afternoon, please, wherever you see this video, share it. It's because of uh, this guy they call uh, Ijele. Ijele. Ijele that stays in, um, in Turkey. Ijele. Oh my God! Can you put on Facebook this afternoon? Iye garaga mbombo nge put on a Libya. Iye me na Libya about ten years ago. Nange put on ya. Ijele it's na mu amagi na Libya. Ijele it's na mu amagi na Libya. Oh my God! Nange na Turkey it's na mu amagi na Libya. Otu otu mumu mumu sumaru na 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 Libya di na Saba ma eke mazara ma tolo buike ma obu ebe sukuma ma kaya na kaya. I 
Libya. Ere sa na kuna shahas. Ado sa na kuna shahas. Ida fum mwani. Ado do fight na wonu. Ana aba kuna. Then only a rabbi abi abi. Yari yabi. Ose ki salam aleku. Isi aleku salam. Yo isi a shinhali. Ose ki kwe stama. Sorry because I don't know what I'm speaking. I'm speaking Arab. You understand? Ose ose ki. See, madam. You see, yes, madam. Yes, sir. You lie. You also say, "I'm hush, 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 hush." The next thing I know, madam, the woman now about to get ask my malish, ask my malish. Get on, get on, about to get on, about to ask my malish. The man wants to know about the man malish. Now, because all to now for your phone, ask now, now, yeah. The man, the man, yeah, that you are not going to Libya. Oh, phone, all this phone. I will inform you. See, I know phone. I'm going to see you more, boy. Let's see now how to know skin to skin. Oh yes, now she can now. Now this platform, now that this Facebook, now that we are this happening, all the people that, my young people, all now she can now talk on her Facebook. Challenge them, so now what I can hear, hear the people are saying. In general, I fire you, fire your generation. You are idiots, you are imposter. How dare you? It's now my 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 in Libya. All this happening in Libya, now you need to be careful. Now now wash wash. Now 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 woman woman business in Libya. Never send one yay, never send on the leaders, never send it in the chat and the jail. And I try in an hour without no condom, Nadibia. Do you know how many souls have died in that Libya? All the children are going to give a quote. There are still prostitution going on in that Libya. I have many, many people. Need I have information, Nadibia? Who are eyewitness? My you are at all. Every school now, Kenya na kogi, Nigeria. We make very very well na Libya. We make very very well na Libya, Nigeria. If Bokita na shuga expose you, I will expose you. The day you swear, you shall not make na Libya. Matoni obuzi ken na kaha, ani na na tuwa. Matiri, the chief, the only son of his father, Mbaya chief, came and handed him a very very well. Ani na na mecha wuma traffic. Nei, 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 ndi, 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 I have a lot of evidence. I have a lot of evidence. I will prove it. I didn't come to um, Facebook and just uh, talk and be talking blah blah blah. No. I have a lot of testimonies, witness. Can you go on the NGV I do not this Italian no now? All these statements, everything I passed through, how my sister died in Libya. I wrote everything down. We were on the Italian government now. But today, I am Italian. Who will sit in Italy now? So where you no get men? On where you no get men? On where you no get men? Okay, your turn. Me, I don't give a fuck. But if for this afternoon, you got one more scenario, I will expose you people. I will expose expose you people. Do you know what they call women in Libya? They call them printing machine. I never thought to never print here go. I escaped my life because they wanted to poison me. Because no now go and hear the men. Just imagine. I put a gun on Nigeria. See now they get gun. He can run on the hotel. He can run. I need to see what. You can't even put them. Eh? I put a gun on Nigeria. I put a gun on Scotland. I put a gun on Libya. I said now I'm on Libya. No, I'm not on Libya. I can. I was in Libya. It just says I'm not in a shop. It's your job to. No, it's your job. Hey, Johnny. I should have been there. I should have been there. I should have been there. Oh, that's why I'm going to be able to bring you back. Yeah, I'm going to be able to bring you back. Oh, I'm going to be able to bring you back. I see you. Toya Nyebu. I see you. Asthma. 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 She's in Michigan. I see you. My fish is Michigan. Hem she hosh. Hem she hosh. Araji. Hem she hosh. Araji. He may have made it the meaning of hem she hosh. Araji. That's what I'm going to be able to bring you back. No, I'm going to be able to bring you back. I'm going to be able to bring you back. I'm going to be able to bring you back. Ashrin dina, ne dona ashrin dina, ten dina. 
You see, what is happening to Ejele now, nobody knows where it is coming from. Even him now does not even know where that problem is coming from. It's just like when your cup don't fool. This is him now. When you see him speaking, you think that he will not even spend two hours in police custody. But look at him now. He has spent for eight hours. Even if he ended up coming out from that police custody now. Whoever petitioned him have actually dealt with him in a, in a way. Do you know why? Because for someone that claimed to have the connections of all the top, top politicians in the country, for someone who is being overconfident as Ijele, who thinks that the whole world is in his hand, to have stayed and slept in police custody for 48 hours. Do you know what that means? That means that all what he was doing all this way just boasting 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 now this is him i hope others will learn from it you see stay away from other people's problem stay away stop supporting what you are not sure of now this is jelly now he just received what he did not order someone else ordered a product jelly went and received it you see this is it let's be mindful of what we say on social media even if you have contact, even if you have the connection, that still does not give you the, the, the privilege to go about looking for people's trouble, buying people's market, carrying cases that does not consign you. 